Helga from Helga's Pennsylvania Cooking. And today um, I'm going to make a homemade Cajun seasoning blend. You can make seasoning blends really easily. Um, the fact that I have a Mennonite market close by that I can buy uh, some spices in bulk really helps. So um, I'd like to make my own blends if, if I can. It saves money and you can tailor it then just the way that you like it. Um, there's other blends you can make like Italian, uh, an Italian blend besides a Cajun blend, um, a barbecue blend, a chili blend, you name it. I mean the possibilities are endless. When I mentioned about making my own Cajun uh, seasoning blend when I did my cast iron uh, Wednesday sausage and corn soup video, um, Lassie's Food and Barbecue uh, requested that uh, I do a vid on putting together some seasoning blends for you. So this is what that is. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about it as we mix her up. What I'm putting into my Cajun seasoning blend. There's thyme, uh, salt, and you see salt or kosher salt, paprika, garlic powder, uh, black pepper, Italian seasoning, and this over here is some cayenne pepper uh, that I grew myself and ground down. Some, most recipes will call also for onion powder, but I throw so many onions in everything I make that I don't usually add it to my seasoning blend. So I'm going to put in uh, one tablespoon of thyme. I like thyme. Some people don't like thyme. We all know none of us have enough thyme. I'm going to put in um, one tablespoon of the Italian blend, the Italian seasoning blend. An Italian seasoning blend is uh, thyme, garlic, marjoram, onion, rosemary, oregano, basil, savory, and sage. I'll put in a heaping tablespoon of that. A tablespoon of uh, black pepper. Tablespoon, and this will probably about kick my cayenne pepper here. Yep. Oh, I'm gonna make more. Whoop, there we go. We've got more to grind up, so that'll be good. Two of the uh, garlic powder. three of paprika and that's where your heat comes from three tablespoons of paprika that and the cayenne is what gives the nice lovely heat and uh, smoked paprika especially tastes really good in this and I'm just using store-bought spices I will tell you, though, that the fresher you can get them, and from quality purveyors, the better off you are. There are two places that make really, really wonderful, excellent quality spices. One is Penzi's Spices, and I'll give you the link for that down in the description below. And the other one is Calicut's. And Calicut Spice Company is actually, was actually started by one of my neighbors. She and her son started it. They have a store down in Hershey, PA. But I'm lucky because if I want something, you know, I just uh, send her a message and she brings it home. And they get the freshest, nicest quality spices from around the world and come up with their own independent blends. <clears throat> and I'm here to tell you that they're, they're fabulous. They're just tremendous. So I'm going to include a link for you uh, down in the description below for them as well. And get a little adventurous and um, check them out. You know, you can really help yourself. So many people are trying to lose weight and eat healthy. But you can help yourself a lot by using herbs and spices because you give yourself tremendous, a tremendous amount of flavor. 
and no calories and it makes your taste buds happy you can just give this a good shake and you've got a Cajun Cajun uh, spice blend You can see what it looks like. Oh man, that smells good. Put it in a, a sealed jar and it will keep for a bit. Especially if the fresher you have it, the better it'll keep, obviously. But um, it'll keep a while. I use enough of this that I don't have to worry about it getting old and stale because I use quite a bit of it. The nice thing about this, like I said, is you can customize it the way you want. Make it, make it your own. You know, if you don't like thyme, don't put it in. You know, you can use something else. Maybe use a little bit more uh, rosemary or marjoram. But, like I said, either way, um, you can make it your own and it's not that hard at all. But like I said, the smoked paprika, if you can get the good smoky paprika, that really lends a nice depth of flavor to this. Cajun seasoning blend today. I have a little bit of a <coughs> mail call left over here from the holidays. And by the way, if you're interested in what I did with the seasoning blends and you want to see more blends, because I make other ones too to suit my purposes, like when I'm making my own barbecue sauce and all that good stuff, uh, let me know and I can do more of these. Maybe like a seasoned up Saturday or uh, Something like that, Saturday seasonings or Sunday seasonings. So, let me know. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Got the uh, infamous cookie sheets out. So, this was my first piece of mail that I ever actually got from Newfoundland. And uh, it came from Mustang 774, which is our friend uh, Bluefin. And he sent this lovely card. But his wife also paints these lovely wooden ornaments. Make sure you can see it. And it was just really cool. Um, I absolutely love it. And it was Merry Christmas from the family. And he sent this little note with it. Um, Mummers disguise themselves with masks, humps, costumes, and false voices and travel from house to house, singing songs and dancing when invited in. Occupants of the house must try and guess the mummers' identities, after which food and drinks are shared and the mummers move on to the next house. In some communities, if folks can't identify the mummers, they have to join the group. Mummering is based on ancient traditions of disguising and visiting during the Christmas season, our traditional mummers' plays and characters are about 200 years old, traveling from Britain to Newfoundland. That I thought was pretty neat. We have a lot of mummers here, actually in Pennsylvania, and there is a huge actual official mummers organization and troops that actually are all in all the big parades like down in Philadelphia. Um, they're fun to watch. They're fun in the smaller parades too. Everybody always loves them. Um, that's that one. Um, I got a lovely card from um, a sub named Teresa. And uh, <clears throat> she said that she had just recently discussed uh, the videos and uh, she especially enjoys the cooking videos. Looking forward to watching more. And hope that you have a Merry Christmas and wishing happiness and blessings in the New Year's. And I want to thank her. Um, she's from Claysville, PA. And I always love it when PA peeps check in. I, I really, really enjoy that. And uh, so that's that. Then I got a lovely card from Mr. Darren Sharon and his daughter Megan that and he sent me uh, a 
another Darren Sharon sticker. He's already on my sticker board. Darren has actually been a friend. Uh, he's one of the uh, first YouTube, well, I won't say the first, but he was in the first few months I was on YouTube. Um, I stumbled upon him, thanks to Steve Rob, actually. And uh, we've been friends ever since, and I, I really appreciate our friendship. He's up in, in Canada, and uh, he sent me that, which is pretty, pretty blingy. I like that. I like the Canada, the Canadian bling. And he sent me a package, um, which I'm going to open here. Just a ripper. I'm sorry. Ooh, I like this. It's candy. What do we got here? Ooh. Oh my goodness. He sent me honey. I love honey. Ooh. He sent me honey. And he sent me he sent me candy. You gotta love the man that sends you chocolate. I'm just I'm just saying you gotta love the man that sends you chocolate. But he sent me and these oh the Lindor. Oh, the Linder chocolates. Oh my God, they're so good. Ooh. What kind do we have? Milk chocolate and peppermint chocolate. And, let me see here. Ooh, more Canadian stickers. And, More candy. What kind of candy we got in here? Ooh, there's toffee and chocolate Santas. All kinds of salted taffy. Mmm. And what are these? Ooh, turtles. Salted caramel. Classic. Uh, classic recipe. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, and look, these are Farmery Coasters. Isn't that cool? So Farmery is uh, situated in the heart of the Canadian prairies, and it's one of Manitoba's most beautiful and vibrant communities. You will find the Farmery Estate Brewery. They're actually a um, sponsor now of Darren Sharon, and he has shown in numerous videos um, going there and what their brewery uh, and shop look like. They have some really unique stuff there besides being a pretty cool brewery. Um, they have a nearby family farm and he's been doing giveaways um, with goodies from Farmery. Um, and that's the other cool thing. Look at this. He sent me a Farmery mason jar. Isn't that cool? And since he couldn't send me beer, he sent me chocolate, which is, in my book, way better. <laughs> ah, and let's see, there's a note. Ah, uh, Megan wrote this. And she has her own channel, Megan Sings and Plays the Guitar. And uh, she is hoping to get more active on that in this coming year. So, um, if you haven't... If you haven't checked Darren out, he's a great friend in the community as well of other YouTubers. Really enjoy his friendship and uh, he built, he, he moved out of uh, town stuff and built his own house out in the middle of uh, nothing and he does it pretty much off grid. Um, has some chickens and got himself a puppy dog named Denzo and uh, it's really neat following him on, on his journey. He's come, he's done so much stuff and he is self-taught and a lot of the stuff that he, that he built and did on that house, it blows my mind. But in three years, he's really accomplished a lot. But he and his daughter are really sweet. Check those guys out. Darren, thank you so much. Um, I love honey. We use raw honey and stuff all the time. So I really appreciate that. And um, yeah, thanks for the chocolate. I can't go wrong with chocolate. And I love the farmery jar, that's awesome. I'm gonna have to get some uh, some Ningling stuff up to you, buddy. And let's see here, I have one more thing. And uh, this came to me from Blind Views. 
And if you don't know his channel, check him out. He, uh, he has, that's the way I see it. And he does um, discussion channel chats and they're very interesting. He gets into some really interesting subjects. Um, there are some pretty cool people that, that go in there and have some really interesting discussions. Um, you know, it's a good place to talk about current events and things that are happening and um, your, the views on it. It's pretty cool. The other cool thing is, fellow Pennsylvanian, he's from down in Harrisburg. So uh, I really appreciate his support. I enjoy hitting his, uh, his shows when I can. I can't always, depending on you know, work, but uh, check him out. And he's going on the sticker board. So, and that completes that one. And I actually have a couple more stickers and uh, another mail call to do here in the not too distant future. I'm starting another cookie sheet. Can you guys believe it? So I've got Kaylin Strain, 805 Road King, Plumpy E, Big Dog Leather, Darren Sharon, Blind Views, The Far Side of the Rails, Papa Texas, uh, New Level Auto, and Great American Survival, and Texas Viking. Great Terry Terry at Texas Viking does some amazing welding work. WKZZR Productions, Keith TV. Uh, Chaos Garage, Channel 33 with Spongy, and the Bobcat Guy. This is kind of like one of my Canadian boards. They're Canadian, a lot of them are Canadians. Um, Charlie from Badgertronics. Charlie's got a little brother though. He might get upstaged. Drive Shaft Drew, um, Ghost of My Vlogs, One Auto. Um, Red Gone to Grey, Monster Sasquatch, Wyatt One Able. And we have Tom's Busted Knuckle Garage, Calvin's Corner 72, Garrett Outdoors, Weekend Review, Grant Hubbard, You Dizzy 1969, um, The YouTube Garage Gang, Hiking with Sean, Volgnitz Videos, uh, and Volgnitz, he's down, he's down there in um, New Zealand along with Badgertronics, and he does a lot of really cool um, motorcycle vlogging. He's also an engineer on a train. Pretty cool stuff. Adventures with Bash, South Main Auto, The Wild Yam, Farm Boy 30117, Calvin Corner again, you see a board hog, uh, Badgertronics, The Plow Guys, Steve Rob, One Wild Camaro SS, Lil Doggy. Speaking of seasoning salts, Lil Doggy has great seasoning salts too. Um, in fact, I'm out of his one. Uh, is one the citrus one that I want and I'm gonna order that uh, here shortly but he has some really good seasoning blends and I'm gonna include a link for his at the bottom as well hit him up he's got good stuff um, MBYR 31 Maddie's channel and Midwest Motor Rider another uh, motorcycle vlogger um, he's out in Wisconsin um, I actually have uh, DIY dark matters to uh, put on the board too, but I gotta start a new one. So, um, as you know, I always appreciate mail, um, no matter whether you're, you're a subscriber, you know, just a plain subscriber. You guys are what keeps my channel going, and I always appreciate hearing from viewers. I appreciate hearing what you want to see or what you enjoy. Um, that helps me tailor this better for you guys. And I appreciate the support from the others in the YouTube community. Um, very, very much. I've really made some wonderful friends over the past few years here. Um, I just hit 3,000 here this past week, which uh, I can't really believe, but hey, I'm not going to knock it. <laughs> so I really appreciate you all's support and friendship, and uh, that was that was my Cajun seasoning. And uh, like I said, if you want to see more of these and see different blends, let me know and I will include the links also for um, Little Doggy, Calicuts, and Pensies in the links down below.
you liked what you saw, like, subscribe, and join me next time here in Helgas, Pennsylvania Cooking.